Hi, my name is Mike Groom. I'm a pastor here at Adelaide Christian Centre and welcome to Empower TV. In this episode, I want to answer this question, is there more to life than this? As we journey through our life and reach the various stages and phases of our life, it could be attending university, getting a job, getting a car, a new relationship, maybe marriage and then children, a mortgage, maybe a better job to pay for the mortgage. We often think to ourselves, is there more to life than this? In fact, we're never fully satisfied or content with what we have. We often look to the next phase of our life. We ask ourselves questions. Where am I headed? What am I really all about? Is there more to life? What is the meaning? What is the purpose to my life? And so on. In fact, we often ask this question, is there more to life than this? And on the other side of this, I'm going to come back and answer that question for you.
Is there more to life than this? People spend so much money, time and energy trying to work out the meaning of their life and the purpose of their life. We often think about this and we often think about where we are headed in our life and how we will end up. Now, English actor and comedian Russell Brand said this. He said, drugs and alcohol are not my problem. Reality is my problem. Drugs and alcohol are my solution that fill up the hole inside of me. We all have a void and emptiness within us that can only be fulfilled when we find out that meaning or that purpose in our life that brings a sense of fulfillment. And often reality is something that we don't want to consider or think about. We may not be liking our reality at this present time, but we do need to sit back and take note of our circumstances, of our life, where we are headed, what we are doing. We may have other areas in our life that are doing us no good, but we have to face reality. Because when we face reality, this will set the platform for us to be able to build upon for a better life. Now, I love Jim Carrey, the comedian and actor. I love his movie, Bruce Almighty. But he said something very profound. He said this, I think everyone should get rich and famous and do everything that they dreamed of so they can see it's not the answer. <laughs> That's so true. We can have all the money in the world, all the fame and all the status, but it's not really the answer that brings us that inner satisfaction and fulfillment. Now, a great man that I know, and I hope that you know too, Jesus Christ, he said this in the Gospel of John. He says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. You see, Jesus satisfies our every need. Jesus is for us and he wants to provide for us. As his children, he loves us so much that he's our sustainer and our provider and he provides everything that we need in our daily life. Just as bread is a, is, a, is a regular food that we need on a daily basis, maybe in Australia anyway. But Jesus says he's the bread of our life. He's our sustenance. He's the one that provides for us. And Jesus is truly that in our life. There's no doubt about that. And if you're a follower of Jesus, you understand exactly what I mean. In fact, Jesus said this. He says, I am the way and the truth and the life in the Gospel of John chapter 14. Jesus says that I am the way. And this is so important for us to understand that Jesus is the way for us to follow. Jesus is the answer to my emptiness. He's the answer to the void within me. He's the answer to me feeling fulfilled and satisfied in my life. Freddie Mercury, the lead singer of the band Queen, a very famous band and a very famous singer. In fact, they amassed millions and millions of dollars. They had thousands and thousands of people attend their concerts, but there was something in his life that was missing. And shortly before his death, in an interview, he said that he was desperately lonely. In fact, he said this, you can have everything in the world and still be the loneliest man. Success has brought me world admiration and millions of dollars, but it's prevented me from having a one thing we all need. The one thing we all need, a loving and an ongoing relationship. There is only one relationship that is totally loving and long-lasting, and that is a relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, I am the truth. Now, there's a question here. Is Jesus true? Is Jesus true? Do you believe in Jesus? Now, just as a lawyer needs evidence to build his case, we know that the case built around Jesus and who he is and if he is true is the New Testament document, the New Testament papers, is the evidence for the birth, the life, the death and the resurrection of Jesus. Now, we understand that there's some very highly intelligent people that are atheists. They don't believe in God. In fact, they don't believe the accounts of Jesus to be true. But equally so, there are highly intelligent people that do believe that Jesus is true. In fact, he is who he says that he is. Because they have researched the papers. They have researched the evidence from the New Testament. And they have come to the conclusion without a shadow of doubt that Jesus is who he says he is. He is the Son of God. He is Emmanuel that was sent to us. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his son, Jesus, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. He is Emmanuel, God with us. That means that. In fact, Jesus is who he says he is. And researchers have come to the conclusion that his resurrection is also true. And this is something that's important for us to understand. When Jesus says, I am the truth, in the Hebrew mindset back there, in their understanding, the Hebrews would understand that truth was not just an intellectual or a head knowledge. In fact, it was a heart knowledge. It was an inner revelation. And it gave a sense of assuredness that what they know on the inside was, without doubt, totally true. Not just a head knowledge or, a, or information that they are gained through learning. And when you have a truth on the inside and you really know that it's true with everything that you are, you understand that we come to that understanding because truth is to be experienced. For us to fully understand who Jesus is and to know that Jesus is totally true and he is who he says that he is, we have to experience in him in a relationship. We can read about him. We can hear other people talk about him. In fact, there's plenty of people on TV screens around the world today that would be preaching about Jesus, trying to convince you that he is true, just like I am today. But the greatest way that you can know that Jesus is true is by experiencing him in a relationship. Now, I've been married to my wife Kelly now for 26 years, and we have four lovely children. They're all growing up very fast. I feel quite old. But prior to knowing Kelly, if I went into a bookshop and I saw a book there entitled The Amazing Kelly and it had her photo on the cover. Now, I would read through that book and I would come to the conclusion after reading the book that she truly was amazing because of all the things that she's achieved, all the things that she set out to do and because of the person that she is. But I've lived with Kelly now for 26 years. And because I've lived with her and know her intimately, I have come to an understanding that tr Kelly truly is an amazing woman. She is the amazing Kelly. It's not because I've just read about Kelly in a book. It's because I've experienced her. I live with her. We are one. We, we understand one another. And that's what Jesus is really saying here. To know him as the truth, we need to have a relationship with him that is vibrant, that is alive, that is real. Not substitutes, but something that is authentic. And a relationship with Jesus will bring us to the conclusion that he is authentic and he is true. In fact, he is who he says he is throughout the document of the New Testament. And this is something that I want to encourage you in in this time. We can have a relationship with Jesus and we can experience him fully to actually experience a one-on-one -on -one relationship with him. Jesus says that I am the way, I am the truth, and then Jesus said, I am the life. John chapter 10, verse 10, it says this, A thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I, being Jesus, has come to give life and to give life in all its fullness. Now Jesus declares in the scriptures constantly that all the negative stuff and all the stuff that spoils our life can be changed from having a negative influence on our life by not having an influence at all when we have Jesus in our life. You see, Jesus can make a change in our life. You see, all that negative stuff that spoil us, all those attitudes, those negative behaviours, those bad relationships, those horrible decisions that we have made can have an impact on our life that causes us not to live the life of adventure and fulfilment that Jesus had given us to live. But Jesus said that he has come to give us life and life in all its fullness. When we ask Jesus into our life and to live with us, and we live with him, it makes a huge difference in our life. And those areas that we're getting trapped in, it could be sin, it could be bad attitudes, all sorts of stuff. 
all the rotten stuff that goes on in and around about our life. We can journey through that knowing that Jesus is with us every step of the way. We can enjoy life much more knowing that Jesus is there in our difficulty. Jesus is there in our sorrow, in our unhappiness and in our grief. Jesus is, in fact, our constant companion. In fact, he's our friend. And he'll walk with us. He'll trudge with us through our difficulties and adversities in our life. And we know that he will never leave us nor forsake us. He's our constant friend. And the good news is, is that Jesus loves you. He loves you so much. You might not love yourself. You might find it hard to love others. You might find it hard to receive love. But can I encourage you in this? Jesus loves you. He loves you just as you are. And Jesus wants a relationship with you. He wants your life to be so much more fuller and enjoyable. For it to be an adventure and not something where you wake up every morning thinking, dear God, what is this day going to bring? Can I get through it? You can get through life with Jesus as the source of our life. I don't want you to miss this next statement that will come up on the screen. It's so important that you get this. And Jesus took all of our guilt, our sin, our hurt, our shame, our sickness, all of our insecurities upon himself on the cross and he took them to the grave in order that we are free to enjoy life and life to the full. Our band is going to come and they're going to sing a song and I trust that you'll enjoy that and I'll be back straight after them. Decided to follow 
Lord Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. The cross In my experience, in my relationship with God through Jesus, Jesus is not boring, he, he's not untrue, he's not irrelevant. In fact, he's fulfilling, satisfying, and my life with him is truly an adventure. I've experienced Jesus to be the bread of my life, my provider. I've experienced Jesus where I have been in need, but he's been there for me. He's been the shoulder that I needed to cry upon. He's been the pillar that I needed to lean on for stability. He's been there for me. He's been there enjoying my life when I've enjoyed the various arenas in my life, my marriage, my children, my church. Jesus provides everything. In fact, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3 that he provides us with all spiritual blessings. Now, you may not believe that, and, I, and that's... that's fine but i know by experience that that is true that jesus is my provider he's my constant companion he's the pillar i can lean on he's the bread of my life he provides for me and even when i struggle in the various situations that i encounter the confrontations that come towards me the sicknesses that i may experience the heartache of loss. I know that Jesus is there and I know that he's my sustenance. I found that through my experience of Jesus that he really is the way, the truth and the life. Through a relationship with Jesus, we find the meaning of our life and all its fullness. Is there more to life than what you're experiencing right now? Is there more to your life? I want to encourage you to ask Jesus to come into your life so that he will bring a sense of fulfillment so that you can experience the adventure of living a life with Jesus because Jesus is truly who he says that he is. I want to thank you for joining us today on Empower TV and we look forward to seeing you next week. God bless you. Thank you for joining with us today. We trust that you enjoyed and was uplifted by the songs and message. Please contact for information or for a prayer request by visiting our webpage.